bowing left wrist in downswing. If you type those keywords into Google and to YouTube, this is likely an area that you're struggling in your downswing. You might be coming down too steep or finding just a lot of issue of getting inside on the downswing and hitting the golf ball a lot more solid. Well, in this next video, I'm going to go into a bit more detail on the importance of bowing your lead wrist in the golf downswing. That's really going to help you out. I'll see you soon. It's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. At this channel, I help you play the game of golf easy with at-home practice drills that lead to lasting improvement in the game of golf. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. Let's get started. So we're going to know how bowing the left wrist in the downswing is going to help you with your golf game. Well, the bowing of that left wrist plays a really critical role in enabling you to hit solid golf shots. In particular with your irons, it also plays a role in your driver, but especially with your irons because they require you to have forward shaft lean and to get those hands in the handle of the golf club in front of the ball at impact. So that left or lead wrist plays a really critical role and bowing is absolutely vital in doing that right. So I just want to quickly go through what does bowing mean because after this short little segment here I'm going to show you a really simple drill or practice that you can do that's really going to help you out. So if I've got my left wrist here this would be flat and this would be cupped turning it this way towards the target. Bowing is when you turn it slightly away from the target. You see this rounded motion here. And this is something that's been very much popularized by John Rahm, Dustin Johnson. If you look at their golf swings in slow, slow motion, as you probably have, you'll see that they really excessively bow it, particularly towards the end of their back swing and as they start their downswing. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you this from a couple of angles so you can really see. If you look at their swings as they go to the top and as they come down, they really bow that lead, that left wrist and they're able to get that shaft and that hands way in front of the ball. But from this angle here, I'll show you what I mean. As they get to the top here, John Rahm does it a lot earlier. He gets, when he gets about here, he starts bowing it excessively like that. And as they come down, <laughs> helps them get the club more inside and generate a lot of power and hit a lot more solid compressed golf shots. So that's just two examples. So I just want to talk about why it's important just to understand this concept of bowing. Now in your downswing, if you were, for, for, for example, not bow, what would happen? If you were doing more of a cupping sort of motion, well, if I'm set up here, as I come down, just say, for example, I'm not someone that bows much at all. I just want to cup right from the start of that downswing. As you can see, my left wrist is, is flat there, but it's more in a cupping motion. Watch what happens to the club face at impact. You can see how it opens there. The club head, if anything, is getting to the ball before the hands do, or it might get there at the same time. With your irons, that will lead to very weak shots. Now, you might get away with it with a certain degree with your driver because you're hitting on the up and the ball's on a tee. With your irons, if you're cupping that left wrist or that lead wrist in the downswing, you're going to get in a very weak position at impact, which is not what we want. And that's, that's one thing that doing the opposite of bowing does. From down the line, watch what happens. So if I'm cupping, watch what happens to the club. It comes down very steep. You're going to cut across the golf ball and you're going to hit a lot of sort of scoopy shots lifting the ball in the air. Now with your irons that's going to kill your distance and your consistency and what bowing does is 
if we were to bow it nice and early, it does it does a couple of things really well. One, it shallows out your your plane, your club. Watch how it shallows it. And the other thing it does, it squares that club face, which is absolutely critical. It squares it early in the downswing, not late, but it squares it early. And look at that. Gets us right on top of the golf ball. Here's from this view. This is by bowing early. And look at the way we're able to get, I'm able to get my hands forward with the club handle and I'm going to compress the golf ball. So if you're someone that struggle with really compressing your iron shots, have a look at the position of your left wrist in the downswing. You might not be bowing it enough and might have a bit too much cupping in that sort of position there. So you may want to consider more bowing in the downswing to try and get yourself in some sort of impact position that looks a little bit more like this. With a much more flatter wrist, you don't need to go to excessive bowing like someone like a John Rahm or DJ does, which is just like that. But you definitely want it a lot flatter at impact. So in this next part, I'm going to show you a really simple exercise you can practice to get this bowing sorted out for you. Drop a comment down below if you've tried bowing your left wrist in the downswing successfully and it's really helped you hit a lot more solid golf iron shots or you found a particular drill that's really helped you to really get in that great impact position by just bowing that left wrist in the downswing. Drop a comment down below, I will reply to every comment. Here's a really simple drill or exercise that will really help you with bowing the left wrist in the downswing and get yourself into a much better position at impact. So all I want you to do so I'm going to grab a club, take your right hand off the club to start with. And what we're going to do, we're going to make a swing to the top. Now, the reason I'm doing this is quite often the right hand, it pushes against the left on the downswing because it's your dominant arm. This is for a right hander. Pushes against it and will cause that left wrist to cup instead of bowing. So by practicing it without your right hand it really helps you get that feeling more than anything of getting that little bit of bow in that left that left wrist. So what we're going to do, let's start again. Take the right off, go to the top. I'm just going to feel like getting a little bit of bow on that left wrist and the down. So I'm going to turn and rotate into our impact position there. And have a look at that nice flat lead wrist. I'm not expecting you, uh, certainly would encourage you to get too much bowing, anything excessively light, but just a little bit is just fine and will work really well for you. So here we go again. Go to the top, get a little bit of that bowing, feel like that left, that lead wrist is just turning a little bit this way. Not like this, but like this. Down slowly, rotate, See how that squares up the club face? Beautifully at impact, hands ahead of the ball, forward shaft lean, you're in a great position. Now what you can do is put her right on there. Nice and slow. Make sure as we start our dance we can get that bowing of that left wrist. Look at that position impact. Miles of forward shaft lay. I'm going to compress that golf ball all day long. I'm going to show you another angle here just so you can get another look at it down towards the camera. Take that right hand off. I'm going to bow that left wrist, bowing it, rotating, squaring that club face up nicely, forward shaft lean through the golf ball. Put our right hand back on. Bowing, rotating. Look at that position there. That's what you want to be looking for. And I know you can do this. You just need to practice it. Really feel as though that, that left wrist in the downswing, getting that little bit of bow, that will uh, shallow out your golf swing plane on the way down, you get a lot more compression on the golf ball and you'll be in a much better impact position to hit solid golf shots. Give that a shot.
Now you know all about bowing the left wrist in the downswing. And that will really help you hit a lot more solid golf shots, compressed golf shots that fly a lot longer and straighter towards your target. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please pop them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Now below this video, I'll have a link to my free video. It's called Three Secret Moves. Make sure you get a hold of that. Also be another link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you again soon.